in his own best interest had been avoiding Survivor, whom is still cross with him for saving the life of the Plutonian when they had the chance of ending the Plutonian's life. So in order not to get in the way of the Survivor whom had been looking for him for weeks, he decided to reside in a remote countryside where a community of farmers were doing their best to live by due to the fact that the Plutonian had destroyed everything in his path, including farmlands which provide food for the people and the economy of the country was not stable for the damage done by the plutonian so with his powers and intellect cubit helped the community as best as he can especially when it comes to anything mechanical which helped in making their plants grow faster and make their work easier as much help as he gave the community was still wary and suspicious of him for they were aware that he was one of the Plutonian's colleagues and they had asked him the question why the Plutonian had not been stopped. Cubit had no answer for them and even if he does, they wouldn't want to know where he stands when it comes to the Plutonian, which might result in him losing their trust. And in truth, as much as they were wary of Cubit, they were also grateful for his help. Unfortunately for Cubit, our hero survivor appeared from nowhere complaining and ranting on why Cubit was avoiding him and his sudden appearance caused fear among the people for at first they thought it was the Plutonian but Survivor assured them that it is safe then the community began to beckon to him asking him why he hasn't stopped the Plutonian and he asked Cubit to explain to the people putting Cubit in a tight spot now Kaidan had been working on her powers ever since she she discovered that she can also invoke any spirit she wants and she can also communicate with them but unfortunately for her it had been difficult for her to invoke the spirit of her late boyfriend Sila. then it dawned on her that Sila might be alive and in truth a comatose body of Sila is being nurtured by binary encounter and modius android preparing for an appointed time remember samsara whom is being inhabited by Modius told the Plutonian that there was a way to reverse and undo all his atrocities, especially bringing back all the people he had killed. Well, before the Plutonian went rampage, he had found a gem called the Sapphire of Ishwa, which was a regenerative stone, a similar one on the forehead of the real Samsara. But before he could present the gift to Samsara, Samsara questioned him about Dr. Seabrook and he killed Samsara for losing faith in him. Samsara, alias Modius, convinced the Plutonian to use the Sapphire of Ishwa's regenerative components by igniting and triggering it, which will result into a reverse effect into the timeline and bring back all the people he had annihilated. Now, the people of the community were not too pleased with Cupid when they learned that he is the reason the Plutonian is still alive and they gave him the lynching of Cupid. And when he was satisfied that Cubit had almost reached his limit of passing out, he protected him by forming a shield around him. With all the hate he was getting from the community and the survivor, Cubit still stood his ground, explaining to them that they owe Orion nothing. Moreover, Orion was waiting for the elimination of the Plutonian so that he can call his battalions and take over planet Earth. That the problem of survivor is that he never acts the right questions or see the bigger picture in play. For example, how did Samsara come back to life? Where is Encanter whom he left in his lab? Where is the Plutonian? Where is the body of his brother? Cupid let Survivor understand that his role is to find a way out of a difficult situation. That him not wanting to kill and eliminate the Plutonian has nothing to do with any moral code. But the truth is that the killing of a human being or a person changes you, implying that he was trying to save the survivor from himself. That as much as they want the end of the Plutonian, they should remember that he had saved the planet a hundred times over without asking for anything back in return. That even the survivor's late mentor, the Hornet, agrees with him. Sitting at the rooftop of Alana Patel's apartment, the Plutonian was observing that she was gone. A bit surprised for she stayed behind after he destroyed Sky City. Holding the Sapphire of Ishwa in his hand, 
a kind of remorseful Plutonian was trying to rationalize his earlier actions and atrocities, which was also encouraged by Samsara, whom is being inhabited by Modius, and asking if this sapphire of Ishwa will work, in which Samsara, aka Modius, assured him that according to his theory and calculation, it should work. Then the Plutonian triggered and ignited the sapphire of Ishwa, which brightens the environment with a bright light. But unfortunately for the Plutonian, it didn't work, which in all honesty surprised Samsara, whom is inhabited by Modius. Now, it can't be sure if Modius was playing mind games with the Plutonian or if he actually believes in his theory that the Plutonian can reverse his atrocities. The Plutonian suggested that the Sapphire of Ishua would have worked if only Modius was around, for he vanished years ago. This statement from the Plutonian shocked Samsara alias Modius. With his confrontation over the years with Modius, he kept the real Samsara out of the picture because of his safety, for Modius was known to use those he loves to get to him. And out of all the villains he had come in contact with, Modius was the most intelligent of them all, if possible smarter than Cubit, an eternal enigma whom is impossible to stop. Between the age of 30 to 40 years of age, he was being diagnosed as a narcissistic psychopath. He never understood his hate for him. The mystery behind Modius is that he never robbed banks or seek for world domination. He was hard to read. He just simply attacked for no cogent reasoning. And he was that out of his mind and crazy that he would kill anyone that stood in his way or stepped on his toes. He had once asked Modius why he hates him so much, but he just stared at him and said nothing. And this baffles the Plutonian and what really baffles the Plutonian is that they had no shared history. On this particular day, Modius with one of his antics plants a bomb in Alana Patel's house, which was about four seconds to to explosion and with full speed the plutonian immediately took the bomb to space which exploded and through the particles of the explosion the plutonian followed a tiny signal which led him to modius secret basement which he had been hiding for weeks to the plutonian's surprise he found modius creating androids of himself which was creepy and disturbing as much as the Plutonian had the ability to watch electrons bounce through a man's subcortex or decode the pheromones he gives off depending on his emotions, he can decipher conclusively what he lost for and what he repels. And the only reason he was able to capture Modius was because he was too emotional, mad as hell, and most importantly, he was in love with him. And that now he gets it. He was only trying to get his attention in his own sick, demented way. Samsara, who is being inhabited by Modius, rebuffed his claims by telling him that Modius hates his guts. Surprisingly, the Plutonian agreed that Modius equally hates him as much as he loves him. That Modius is so twisted that he only prefers to see him suffer by torturing him. He will never kill him. The only way he can express his twisted emotion is true rage rage, which demonstrates a hate for himself so much that many years ago he evaporated into thin air and disappeared without a trace. And to get so close to him, he had to possess the body of his sidekick, Samsara.